stage, let's pray for a round of applause for Barry Bird! Take me out to the ball game any time. You know, it's like legalized man ogling. I like it a lot. So did you guys, did you hear about Nelson Mandela? No. Yeah. He's still living. Yay! Yay! He's not done yet. Um, rumors of his death have been greatly exaggerated. He's not very happy about it. He told us to stop it. But if you did hear that he died, it was a YouTube, um, what was it? It was a YouTube video that was like, oh yes. And you know, 94, and he's in the hospital. You know they've got him ready for like Betty White, Joan Rivers, Justin Bieber, just waiting and hoping in some cases. <laughs> but um, if you want real news, you gotta go to like Al Jazeera or the BBC. You do, because the revolution will not be televised in America. But um, I recently found out that in the Urban Dictionary, BBC means something different than British Broadcasting Company. That's what it really means, you nasty-minded people. <laughs> you can go to the Urban Dictionary if you want to know what it other means, <laughs> other, other meanings for that. But um, I'm glad it's summertime. I had the worst allergies. Anybody have bad allergies this year? The worst I have had since I've lived here. And it was so bad, I had to buy Sudafed. That's serious. <laughs> Because I basically, I'm pretty sure the FDA stands for forced death acceleration. <laughs> I don't want to go there, but I, I decided I would go ahead. I, I needed to breathe. And it had been so long. You guys, I had no idea that you need like your ID, a retinal scan, and an anal probe to buy Sudafed. Now I accidentally, I, I volunteered for the probe. Do not give people who would give you, who would do bad things, bad ideas, because they will do bad things. They will do bad things to you. So who's into surveillance? I think Edward, I think um, Edward Snowden is like a patriot. That's my personal opinion. He didn't like to say people were gonna do this, that, and go, hey, did you know they're doing this? Yeah. Now, I've been mad for the last nine years, so don't give me any grief. I was mad when they first started. But you know, this the involuntary surveillance. You got your red light cameras. You guys don't, you guys have a few of those here, right? Red light cameras. Webcams, you gotta watch out. Did you guys know that it's true? They can turn your webcam on remotely. Without the light coming on, involuntary surveillance. You know, I put a post-it pad on mine because I don't want anybody watching me <laughs> watching porn. <laughs> I don't think that it would be good at all. <laughs> but um, who's into voluntary surveillance? <laughs> Who has Facebook? Yeah. yeah, you gotta watch out what you post out there because you know there's Facebook felons. So I, I do put some things out there, but did you guys, does your boss need to know that you're on level 76 of Candy Crush? <laughs> <laughs> or what you happen to be listening to on Spotify? No wonder the Wi-Fi's so slow. Everybody's streaming music in here. But um, a couple years ago, I changed my birth year to 1910 in Facebook. <laughs> I had to. An alarm sounded when I walked into Forever 21. <laughs> and it could have been all the clothes I took from Kohl's. But you know, if I can get out of Kohl's, I should be able to go into any other store in the mall. <laughs> but when you change, your, you change your profile, they're not kidding, at least they're upfront with it. Profiles. I started getting like really old lady ads. <laughs> really, like hover around. Wrinkle be gone. Viagra. And I'm like, okay, this is on Facebook. Viagra for a hundred year old? That is not a cougar, that's a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> it's wrong, that is a saber tooth tiger. But you know, there's a place where you might not know that you are involuntarily being surveyed. If you've got a smartphone and you download apps, who does that? Yeah, well, I recently got this new, like, little toy. It's like, oh, I like the flashlight. So I click on it. Oh, it's free. 
I'm gonna change all this stuff. Wait a minute, what are you changing? Well, we need access to all your emails, your network, all your, con I'm like, for a flashlight? <laughs> I don't think so, and you guys, it's amazing the things, if you actually read, don't just click on okay, yippee, it's free. Okay, you could be um, signing yourself up for something you didn't know. Speaking of which, who's been tricked into telling their insurance company how they drive? <laughs> <laughs> That's a trick. That's a trick. Oh, just plug this in and you'll get a good driver discount. Who is thinking, you know, if I actually had insurance, it'd probably triple? <laughs> You know, they need a special scale for New Mexico. And I, I think it'd be okay, it'd be like, whoa, whoa, no, that's defensive driving. We get points for that. <laughs> we get points for that. So I noticed that um, before the lights went out, there's some beautiful tattoos and beautiful body art out there. I am just the biggest, fattest baby on the planet. So I'm sticking with just my natural tattoos. Areolas and spider veins. <laughs> I earned them. Now I have saw, I have thought about getting vein surgery, but honestly, it just seems so vain. Vain. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Also, somebody said that they got them done and they came back twice as bad. I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I'll just stick with it. I'll just stick with these guys. So um, I recently, I kind of came to the understanding of myself. I'm immature. <laughs> you might be too. I thought about it when I was trying to write a, write a ad for a dating site. It's like, I am immature. Now you might be too, you guys, here's a test. You see your friend walking, bam, they're on the ground. Do you laugh? <laughs> yes, you do, because you're immature like me. Now, I'm going to help them up after I finish laughing. <laughs> but, you know, that's a test. That is a test. I did. I was going to do some online dating. And I got kind of scared off. Did you guys hear that a lady on Match.com, she was attacked with a knife. She said, what is this, Craigslist? <laughs> <laughs> is this Craigslist? No, it's not. And, you know, so many people are, are like, I guess it's called catfishing. I don't know, I'm new at all this stuff. I'm so, so, so new. I'm out of practice. I went to brunch on Sunday. I was at the omelet bar. This really cute chef. He's like, oh, so well, how would you like your eggs? I said, scrambled hard, please. He said, I get off at two. I didn't catch on till like 3.30. Like I said, I'm out of practice. <laughs> I'm out of practice. I was telling a friend, she goes, well, there's this new dating site you should try. And I'm like, well, what is it? She goes, FetLife.com. Anybody been out to FetLife.com? You're going to go after the show. I know you are. I didn't get past the home page because it said, all your kinky friends are here. <laughs> I am, you know, I'm not prepared to know how kinky my friends are. I'm not. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared for my friends to know how kinky I am either. <laughs> except for maybe two at a time. <laughs> but that is neither here nor there. <laughs> so who does have a smartphone? <laughs> Fanciness, I'm insanely jealous. Now one of the things I, I teach a lot, I teach for, for UNM, and you guys, did you know UNM has a division for inclusion and equality? <laughs> a division for inclusion and quality. And I'm thinking they should change their name. They're not really catching on <laughs> how this is supposed to work. But I do, I, I teach a lot, so I'm in class. My phone is, is usually on silent mode. But I was helping a friend of mine move and I hear this sonar going off. I'm like, what is that? Is that like your smoke alarm? She's like, no, it's my ex. Oh, are you gonna get it? No. That's why I changed the ringtone. I'm like, oh, that is genius. Why didn't I think of that? Because my phone is usually on, vibra on vibrate. But um, my son, he has a super duper fancy phone because his dad's trying to buy his love. That's neither here nor there. I mean, seriously. And I was sitting with him, and I hear this boom, 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 boom. 
he had changed somebody's ringtone to Darth Vader. And I'm like, who is that? Oh my gosh. Dad. <laughs> Are you gonna get it? No, that's why it changed the ringtone. <laughs> They're having some issues. I asked his, what do you want to get your dad for Father's Day? It's like two seconds. You know, box of dead worms and a cockroach. Oh, you're still mad at him, okay. But I thought it was funny that he had changed his dad's ringtone to Darth Vader till I found out mine is the theme from Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> not fair, not funny, but all the rest of the ladies that are here, thank you guys so much. It's fun to be up in Santa Fe with my friend Golda Garcia. And you guys enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Mary Bird, good night. Come on, keep it going. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you.